Hello people, well, probably just me for to start with, I should imagine. Um, hello, my name is Tracy. I'm 51 years old. I live in mainland Greece, right down on the southern coast in the Peloponnese, uh, in a tiny, tiny little village called Kamaria, um, which is near to probably the only place you'll be able to find on the map is Finikunda. Uh, very, very beautiful area. I love the area. Um, this is a whole new thing for me. I've been inspired by a very very talented young lady that I saw on YouTube. Um, her YouTube channel is called Make Me Up Missa, M-I-S-S-A. Uh, she's, as I say, very talented. She does wonderful things with eyeshadow. I've never seen eye looks like it. It's incredible. And I will hopefully be trying to copy one or two of those throughout the summer season. Uh, although she's a good deal younger than me, so I shall probably not copy them exactly because I don't think at 51 I'm really uh, of an age to be doing the same look as a 27 year old. Um, as I say, I wanted to get my eyes, my eyelashes extended. Uh, I start work next week and if I can save myself a little job by not having to put mascara on every night, then, well, I'm all for saving time and I'm all for saving money because obviously if I'm not using mascara, it's not going to cost me. Uh, now, I have problems here because when you live in little villages like this, you don't have access to the number of salons, you don't have access to the kind of cosmetic shops that you have in England and in, well, in any big city really. Uh, so I did some research, I found uh, uh, an aesthetics beauty salon in Kalamata, which is the nearest um, city to me. It is is about 60 kilometers away but it's an interesting drive about an hour and a half away uh, little windy roads and quite narrow and quite scary if you you're not used to it fortunately i am after living here 10 years now the salon that i found is called pardon my poor greek aesthetical kendra aesthetikis i hope that's right um, I think their Instagram is at Aesthetico Beauty and Stuff. So, pardon my phone. Uh, <clears throat> have a look for them on Facebook and have a look for them on Instagram because they do have sites. Um, wonderful salon, very, very professional. Uh, it's quite new, it's about a year and a half old. Uh, the lady that did my eyes was telling me her name was Eleni. Now, let me look up her surname because it's not easy for me to pronounce. Uh, it's Eleni Stathopoulou. Uh, she spoke wonderful English, which for me is a real bonus because unfortunately, despite being here 10 years, my Greek still sucks uh, because it's an incredibly difficult language to learn. Uh, I am trying um, and, until my husband, who sadly passed away four and a half years ago, died. Uh, I kind of only spoke really English because he didn't speak Greek. Uh, I knew a little. Um, and now I, I'm i working to supplement my income and to keep my little brain busy because, frankly, you can't be sitting around doing nothing all the time, 12 months of the year. It would kill you. Uh, and I, I needed some extra money anyway. So... As I say, I went and booked this appointment and saw the lovely Eleni. Um, it took around about two hours. Uh, I went for the doll eye look, which is the full volume look. Uh, now, what this entailed is rather than just single lashes being added, although there are single lashes in here as well, uh, they add clumps, oh, clumps, that sounds dreadful, little bunches of three lashes to a single lash, and there's 20 in each of my eye, or in my eyelash line. Uh, and then, as I say, filled out further with single lashes. Um, I did quite a lot of research on YouTube before I went along, mainly because I wanted to know what to expect, if it was going to be painful. It, of course it's not, because it's, it's um, 
an aesthetic procedure. It's, it's not an invasive procedure mm -hmm. like microblading, which is something else I'm looking into. Because uh, as you can see, as a, a full-blown 80s child, I went slightly mad with the plucking in the 80s and they never grew back. So I need some eyebrows. <coughs> and Eleni, love her little heart, said to me, oh, you've got blonde eyelashes. And I went, mm, you're very kind, darling, but I think you'll find they're grey. <laughs> you know, I'm 51. <coughs> Pardon the moaning in the background. This is my babies. We have Carter, that's Carter, and Alfie, the orange and white one, uh, who are disturbing me, clearly. Um, now, so... About two, two and a half hours to fix them up. Uh, no stinging, no redness. Uh, the finished product is just stunning. I'm so, so impressed. Um, it's just a beautiful look. And as I say, pardon my naked face. I have no makeup on whatsoever because I went naked face because I thought it's stupid to go along with makeup and then she's got to take it all off. Um, so I braved it and went naked. Um, and I felt so much better when I came out the salon because even though I didn't have any makeup on still, suddenly I looked like I had eyes <laughs> rather than, pardon my term, piss holes in the snow. Um, so yeah, they're fabulous. I'm very, very impressed. Uh, I hope that this will be helpful. I'm going to do some more because as I say, I'm going to do some further research. I want to find out where you can buy cosmetics, you know, not just high-end cosmetics, because whilst we'd all love to have nothing but stop fighting, high-end cosmetics, it gets expensive. So uh, I'll also be looking at some home brands or in-store brands um, and telling you what I think. I may do, so, I won't call it a tutorial because I'm, I'm hardly a makeup expert. I, I did learn some theatrical makeup many, many, many years ago when I was in the biz. Um, but that's all a long time in the past and things are so much different now there was no such thing as a cut crease when I was learning makeup stop fighting you two Ella oh, look, 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 look. if he can't bite his brother he's going to bite me look at it, it's love they do love each other but look at them squabble <laughs> hashtag Alfie and Carter <laughs> so yes um Pardon me being unprepared. I kind of threw myself into this because I was, as I say, inspired by Missa, who, please do look up her YouTube channel. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. And I love her tutorials. They're so fun. Um, so big shout out to Missa. Uh, maybe she'll see this. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope I get one or two viewers. And we'll see what else we come up with. Bye. Bye from me. And... Bye from the boys. Yeah. <laughs> See ya.